All right then. Hey everybody, Spydeco64 here once again to finish out um, some of these NASCAR Authentics uh, reviews, um, unless um, for now at least. In today's video, we are here to have a look at the next Xfinity car um, in this wave, wave number nine, and that is Justin Allgaier's number seven Hellman's Darlington throwback. So, um, excuse me, I'm just gonna move some of the, um, I have like cars right here, so I gotta move them. I haven't cleaned up their last race yet, but um, there we go. You can't see it off there, but yes. Uh, Darlington throwback from last year. Throwing it back, um, I'm pretty sure this is a Dale Earnhardt throwback. I probably should have done some research before I began the review. But anyways, same exact stuff from last time. You know, it's the standard Authentics logo. Once again, I don't know why the next gen logo is there. But anyways, you know, same stuff. Once again, you know, a good wave on the back. I did see all these cars um, in the stores. I didn't see Truex last time I got the Trevor Bain, nor the Brad Kis or not the Brad Kislowski, the Ryan Blaney. Yeah, so there's that. And uh, yeah, so without that further ado, let's yeah, let's rip this thing open. I'm gonna put this back in here, throw it off to the side, and now we are going to have a closer look at this car. And you can already tell this thing has some quality issues with it, but we'll get to that. Anyhow, anyways, here's the sticker. So, of course, you got Hellman's right there. Justin Allgaier, the uh, number seven, done in the um, in an old school font. Hellman's real jar right there. And all that sort of stuff. Yeah, so it looks pretty cool. Um, in case if any of you don't know, they did just reveal Dale Earnhardt Jr.'s um his uh hellman's um car for 2023 as a part of his second race in the nascar xfinity series which i believe he said he was going to run that at the bristol night race in the xfinity series i don't know whether race he's going to drive in what other races can he drive in there's not really any other short tracks damn i wish the xfinity series race at north Wilkes, bro yeah, that is something that was severely missing during that weekend. But anyhow, taking a quick look at this car. Yeah, um, this was the only one because everyone, everything else was stacked with other waves that I kind of just didn't really kind of care for. Other cars, you know, and all that sort of stuff. But yeah, the quality is pretty bad on this one. We'll get to that here. However, though, in terms of the paint scheme itself, it actually doesn't look too bad. Oh my god. Yeah, the quality control is just super bad. Let's just get to it anyways. So of course, no Xfinity banner and all that sort of stuff. But anyways, let's just have a look at the um, hood right here. Um, I believe that was a video of a jet dryer. So yeah, here we go. We got the Hellman's mayonnaise right there. The jar. You got 358 right there. Hellman's right there. And yeah, you can just see how crooked the Camaro nose is. So yeah, you got Camaro. Some black spots right here. Yeah, that's not great. Junior Motorsports. Number seven. Simpson ARP. Sununco. Same thing on the other side. For some reason there's a black line here from like the lights to here i don't know why that is all right maybe that's a part of the design i'm not too sure but anyways i got goodyear nascar race car xfinity mobile one arrowhead bass black side skirt and yeah look at this i don't know if you can make it out or not but yeah look at that there's cracks in the paint there yeah, that, that's just bad. So anyways, you got branded 
Hellman's ever since 1930, ever since 1913. Wow. Did not realize, well, yeah, mayonnaise has been around for a long time. Didn't know this particular brand was out for a long time. Helmut's mayonnaise, degree, the gas cap logo, Exalta, American flag, uh, uniforms, Justin Allgaier, some other contingent sponsors on the pillar right there. Seven, Food Lion, Hellman's, Hellman's on the back. And then when we get to the other side, it's the exact same thing. And once again, there's more bad quality control because look at that. Once again, just what is that right there? Look, see? I'm glad I got my light on because look, look, see how it glares? Wow. Yeah, this car right here. And the thing was, was that I was actually pretty excited for this one. But now I'm just kind of like. I'm just disappointed at it right now. So, um, yeah, let's kind of just zoom out here and let's zoom in here. Yeah, there are the other cars back there. So we'll just position it right here. Okay, so um, final verdict on this car right here, and that is... Um, once again, it's not a bad release. Hell, honestly, it's a pretty good release. Um, it's another exclusive. Um, this did win the race, and um, I thought it was going to be a race win version, but no, it's not. And uh, to keep up with some Authentics news, um, I have um, there are some leaks of a cracker barrel of a cracker barrel wave out there. So I've been hearing stuff about that. I've also been hearing also as well um, a race win wave. And in that wave, there is um, Kyle Larson's Fontana win from 2022 and Cindric's, um Daytona 500 win. So we'll see um, about that. And also it's in the winner circles box. So hopefully there's some cars in there that I don't have already. But then again, they're probably going to be are going to be like... Um, I pro I'm pretty sure they're cars that they're going to release. Like I have a like it's guaranteed they're going to release the Ross Chastain Talladega win in there and all that sort of stuff. Which once again, I do hope they kind of switch things up a bit because um I don't know. I mean, cuz there are some race win versions that I did skip on because I wasn't really interested in them and stuff like that. So, yeah. But anyhow, anyways though, um so yeah, that pretty much guarantees that there will be some more Authentics reviews. Um, just, um, you just gotta be patient when they come out and stuff. So anyways, guys, um, I hope you all enjoyed this very quick video. And with that being said, uh, we'll see all of you in the next video.